bow break, let it come down, crash. Let the sun fade out to a dark sky. I can't say I'd even notice it was absent. How did we meet? That's a great question. Well, first, um, I was at work and we were with some coworkers and she was talking about her nursing school. And I asked one of them, I, said, I mean, uh, one of my coworkers, I said, hey, do you know any, don't you have any Christian friends? And she was like, yeah, actually I do. And I was like, that's a nurse? And she's like, yeah, she's going to school with me right now. I was like, cool. Um, and she's like, you want to see a picture of her? I was like, yeah. And uh, so I see this picture of her and I'm like, whoa, um, she's kind of pretty. So, so I was just like, uh, you want to set up a meetup? And she's like, yeah, she, so let's set up a meetup. And the weird part about that whole thing was um, I felt this need to pray. Uh, I go on my lunch break to go pray, and I'm praying about it. And God said, I mean, then I say to God, I say, God, if this is really who you want uh, for me to meet um, and to, to start having a relationship with, then let it be love at first sight or let there be an immediate connection. And... Um, so it's set up, and then so then I keep continuing to pray about this whole situation, and so though so it comes to the day where I'm going to meet her, we <laughs> we meet at Corky's, and uh, um, we meet up at Corky's, and we go. I mean, when I go in there, I I felt this immediate c connection with her, which is the greatest thing, and I'm like, whoa, and I just knew at that point that it was God. And I was just like, yes, thank you. My So the proposal, uh, it was really funny actually because my dad almost ruined it, thanks dad. Um, but God always has a way of fixing things. So um, that day, Anthony picked me up and he said we were just going to go to dinner or something. And, um, and then suddenly he gets a call and he tells me that the good company shop got broken into. And so like he pulls out of the driveway at Starbucks and like is just driving like a madman. And he's just, um, he's just like so upset and just right, just acting crazy. And so right away I step into my helper role and I'm like, you gotta calm down, babe. Everything's gonna be fine. Let's, let's pray. You know, in moments of adversity, you have to show me that you can you know, handle pressure and you're gonna be my leader and all that, right? And then we get to the shop and then, um, they had a big surprise for me, well, for us, and I had never imagined that somebody could care about me so much and do some plan something like that for me. And it was just so awesome to see um, friends and, and family and, and people that I didn't even expect to see there, that they were all just there to celebrate um, what was about to happen and, and then, um, it was just an amazing night. We know that we're called into ministry and that our purpose is to serve God and to lead, lead people to Christ. And that's what we're going to be doing as a family mm. and for the rest of our lives. Amen. You know, people um, used to ask me, and even now, they ask me, you know, how, how is it possible to wait, or how do you do it, or isn't it hard? But um, the Bible says that in Ecclesiastes 3.11, it says that everything is made beautiful in its time. So if you wait, it will be worth the wait. Um, I promise, it will be worth the wait and you won't have any regrets and then just, just let God lead in your relationship and um, don't force anything to happen. Um, and that would be my answer to that question. Just just let God lead you and wait on Him. It's, it's possible to wait. And it's gonna be beautiful when it happens, when it finally happens. Chula waits. <laughs> Be still